Hello friends, today I'll be giving you the top 10 best female springboard and platform divers of all time. Let's get straight to the list. At number 10, Georgia Coleman. Georgia was an American diver who had only been diving for six months before she entered the 1928 Olympic Games, where she earned a 10 meter platform silver medal and a three meter springboard bronze medal. Next, at the 1932 Los Angeles Olympic Games, she earned another two medals, a gold three meter springboard medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. Coleman won the outdoor springboard and platform title in 1929, 1930, and 1931. She won the indoor springboard three meter title from 1929 through 1932. She also won the 1 meter springboard title in 1931. Georgia was the first woman to perform a forward two and a half somersault dive in competition. At number 9, Laura Wilkinson. Laura is an American diver who started diving at the age of 15. In 1997, 1998, and 1999, she was the NCAA 10 meter platform gold medalist. The following year, at the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, she won a gold 10 meter platform medal. Next, at the 2004 World Cup, she earned a 10 meter platform gold gold medal. Finally, at the 2005 World Championships, she earned another 10 meter platform gold medal. And with that medal, she made history as the first woman to win all three major world platform diving titles. At number 8, Yulia Pakalina. Yulia is a Russian diver who made her international debut at the 1998 World Championships, where she earned two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2001 World Championships, she earned a 3 meter synchronized silver medal and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. At the 2003 World Championships, she won two silver medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. Her final year at Worlds in 2009, she earned two medals, a gold 1 meter springboard medal and a bronze 3 meter synchronized medal. Now, let's get to her Olympic career. At the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, she won a gold 3 meter synchronized medal. Next, at the 2004 Olympic Games, she earned a silver 3 meter synchronized medal and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. Her final year at the Olympics in 2008, she attained two medals, a silver 3 meter springboard medal and a silver 3 meter synchronized medal. At number 7, Chuan Hongchan. Hongchan, at the age of 13, won a national diving championship and joined the national diving team later that year. At the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, she won a gold 10 meter platform medal. On her second and fourth jump, all seven judges gave her a perfect 10. And look at this! It is a perfect dive! Seven tens! On the fifth jump, six judges gave her a perfect 10 score, giving her a total of 466.20 points, breaking the previous record of 447.70 set by Chen Rollin during the 2008 Olympics. Next, in 2022, at the Diving World Cup, she won a gold 10 meter synchronized medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. That same year, at the 2022 World Championships, she earned three medals, two gold medals for 10 meter synchronized and team event, and a silver 10 meter platform medal. At number six, Ingrid Goldbin. Ingrid is a German diver who made her international debut at the 1960 Rome Olympic Games, where she did not disappoint, winning both the platform and springboard gold medals, making her the first non-American female to achieve that accomplishment. At the 1962 European Championships, she won a gold 3-meter springboard and a gold 10-meter platform medal again. Next, at the 1964 Olympics, she earned a gold 3-meter springboard medal and a silver platform medal, so Ingrid will always be remembered for being the first non-American woman in 40 years to win a gold Olympic diving medal and being the world's top diver under three different names. At number five, Pat McCormick. Patricia was an American diver and a pioneer of the sport. At the 1951 Pan American Games, she earned two medals, a gold platform medal and a silver springboard medal. At the 1955 Pan American Games, she won a gold springboard and a gold platform medal. Next, at the 1952 Olympic Games, she earned a gold springboard and a gold platform medal. Four years later, at the 1956 Melbourne Olympic games, she defended both her titles, winning the gold platform and springboard title again. Pat has also won 27 national championships, and she was inducted into the International Swimming Hall of Fame in 1999. At number 4, Fu Mingjia. Fu is a Chinese diver who made her international debut at the 1991 World Championships where she won a gold 10 meter platform medal at the age of 12 making her the youngest diving champion of all time. At the 1994 World Championships she earned a gold 10 meter platform medal. Fu is a 5 time Olympic medalist. At the 1992 Olympic Games she won a gold 10 meter platform medal at the age of 13 making her the second youngest Olympic gold medalist and she won that medal by almost over 50 points. At the 1996 Atlanta Olympic 
Olympic Games, she won a 10 meter platform gold medal and a 3 meter springboard gold medal. At the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, she won a silver synchronized springboard medal and a gold 3 meter springboard medal. And with that medal, she joined Pat McCormick as the world's only quadruple Olympic diving champion. At number 3, Shi Ting Mao. Shi is a Chinese diver and one of the most decorated female divers of all time. At the 2014 Diving World Cup, she earned two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2016 Diving World Cup, she earned another two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. In her final year competing at the Diving World Cup in 2018, she attained two more gold medals for once again 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2011 World Championships, she won a 1 meter springboard gold medal. At the 2013 Barcelona World Championships, she earned a 3 meter synchronized gold medal. At the 2015 World Championships, she attained 3 medals, 2 gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized, and a silver 1 meter springboard medal. At the 2017 World Championships, she won 2 gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. Her final year at Worlds in 2019, she earned another 2 gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized, giving her a total of 8 gold World Championship medals. Now, let's get to her Olympic career. At the 2016 Rio Olympic Games, she earned two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games, she won another two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. Between the Olympics, World Championships, Diving World Series, Diving World Cup, Diving Grand Prix, and the Asian Games, she accumulated a total of 63 medals, with 58 of those medals being gold. At number 2B, Chen Rulin. Chen is a Chinese diver who made her first national team at the age of 11. At the 2006 Diving World Cup, she attained a gold 10 meter synchronized medal. At the 2008 Diving World Cup, she earned two gold medals for 10 meter platform and 10 meter synchronized. At the 2010 Diving World Cup, she won a 10 meter synchronized gold medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. At the 2012 Diving World Cup, she earned another two gold medals for 10 meter platform and 10 meter synchronized. In 2014, at the Diving World Cup, she won a gold 10 meter synchronized medal. Her final year at the Diving World Cup in 2016, she earned a 10 meter synchronized medal. At the 2007 World Championships, she earned two medals, a gold 10 meter synchronized medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. In 2009, at the World Championships, she earned another 10 meter synchronized medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. At the 2011 World Championships, she earned two gold medals for 10 meter synchronized and 10 meter platform. At the 2013 World Championships, she earned a gold 10 meter synchronized medal and a silver 10 meter platform medal. Her final year at Worlds in 2015, she earned another two medals, a 10 meter synchronized gold medal and a bronze team medal. Now let's get to her Olympic career. At the 2008 Beijing Olympic Games, she earned two gold medals for 10 meter platform and 10 meter synchronized. Next at the 2012 Olympic Games, she attained another two gold medals for 10 meter platform and 10 meter synchronized again. In her final year at the Olympic Games in 2016, she won another 10 meter synchronized medal, making her a three-time Olympic medalist. Between the Olympics, World Championships, Diving World Series, Diving Grand Prix, Diving World Cup, and the Asian Games, Chen has accumulated a total of 100 medals. Many people believe she would have earned many more medals if she didn't have to retire due to injury at the age of 23. At number 2A, Guo Jingjing. Guo is a Chinese diver who started diving at the age of 6. In 1995, at the Diving World Cup, she won two gold medals for 3 meter synchronized and 10 meter synchronized. In 1999, at the Diving World Cup, she earned another two medals, a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. The following year, in 2000, at the Diving World Cup, she won two medals, a gold 3 meter springboard medal and a silver 3 meter synchronized medal. Next, in 2002, at the Diving World Cup, she earned three medals, two gold medals for a 1 meter springboard and 3 meter springboard, and a silver 3 meter synchronized medal. At the 2004 Diving World Cup, she earned a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a silver 3 meter springboard medal. In 2006, at the Diving World Cup, she earned three medals, two gold medals for a 1 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized, and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. Her final year at the Diving World Cup in 2008, she won two medals, a gold 3 meter synchronized and a silver 3 meter springboard. Springboard medal.
Next, World Championship medals. At the 1998 World Championships, she earned a silver 3 meter springboard medal, and after that medal, she had one of the most amazing top podium hot streaks I've ever seen. At the 2001 World Championships, she earned two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2003 Barcelona World Championships, she earned another two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2005 World Championships, she took home the 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized medal once again. At the 2007 World Championships, she earned another two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. In her final year at Worlds in 2009, she gained another two gold medals, and you probably guessed it, for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized once again, giving her a total of 10 gold World Championship medals. Now, let's get to her Olympic career. At the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games, she won two silver medals for 3 meter synchronized springboard and 3 meter springboard. At the 2004 Olympic Games, she won two gold medals for 3 meter synchronized springboard and 3 meter springboard. Next, her final year at the Olympics in 2008, she earned another two gold medals for 3 meter synchronized springboard and 3 meter springboard, making her a six time Olympic medalist. Between the Olympics, World Championships, Diving World Series, Diving Grand Prix, the Diving World Cup, and the Asian Games, she has accumulated a total of 95 medals, with 77 of those medals being gold. And at number one, the greatest female diver of all time, Wu Mingjia. Wu is a Chinese diver who started competing internationally in 2001. In 2002, at the Diving World Cup, she earned two silver medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. In 2004, at the Diving World Cup, she earned two medals, a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. At the 2006 Diving World Cup, she won a gold 3 meter springboard medal and a silver 1 meter springboard medal. At the 2008 Diving World Cup, she earned two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. At the 2010 Diving World Cup, she earned a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a silver 3 meter springboard medal. At the 2012 Diving World Cup, she won two gold medals for 3 meter springboard and 3 meter synchronized. In 2014, at the Diving World Cup, she won a gold 3 meter synchronized medal. In her final year at Vena in 2016, she earned a gold 3 meter synchronized medal. Next, let's talk about her world championship accomplishments. In 2001, she won a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a silver 1 meter springboard medal. At the 2003 world championships, she earned a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a bronze 3 meter springboard medal. In 2005, she earned two silver medals for 1 meter springboard and 3 meter springboard. At the 2007 world championships, she attained a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a silver 3 meter springboard medal. At the 2009 world championships, she won a gold 3 meter synchronized medal and a silver one meter springboard medal in 2011 at the world championships she earned two gold medals for three meter springboard and three meter synchronized at the 2013 world championships she earned a gold three meter synchronized medal in her final year at worlds in 2015 she earned a gold three meter synchronized medal now let's get to one of the most amazing olympic careers i've ever seen at the 2004 olympic games she earned a gold three meter synchronized medal and a silver three meter springboard medal next at the 2008 beijing olympic games she won a gold three meter synchronized medal and a bronze three meter springboard medal at the 2012 olympic games she earned two gold medals for three meter springboard and three meter synchronized in her final year at the olympic games in 2016 she earned a three meter synchronized gold medal making her a four-time consecutive olympic gold medalist Wu holds the record for the most olympic medals by any female diver and the most gold medals by any olympic diver between the olympics world championships diving world series diving grand prix diving world cup and the asian games she has accumulated a total of 111 medals with 76 gold medals, 27 silver medals, and 8 bronze medals. And there you have it, the top 10 best female divers of all time. So, do you think I got the list correct or do you think it's out of order? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe. As always, it's your favorite neighborhood movie critic. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time.